Hello, my name is Cindy from the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology. I just completed my final year studying chemical and environmental engineering. I'm a recipient of the HKIE Scholarship 2019-2020, and in this opportunity, I would like to share with you my involvement in HKIE activities in the past year. In the first three years of my university, through my studies and also through HKIE's resources and webinars, I've learned so much about the engineering world, in or outside my field of study. I then decided to pursue a career in the environmental field in the future. So in my final year, I joined more of HKIE's activities that are related to sustainability and the environment. I find these webinars really insightful, and I will highlight some of them in the next few minutes. The first one is on the green production, effective evolution, and utilization of hydrogen energy. Hydrogen is the lightest and most abundant element in the universe. The potential for hydrogen energy has been rising in recent years because it is highly efficient, it has a high energy density, and it is renewable. The concept for hydrogen economy has been getting popular because hydrogen can play a part in many value-added applications in our daily lives. The first part of the webinar introduced the working mechanism of the coupled photovoltaics and electrocatalysis modules of hydrogen production. By using solar energy, energy consumption for producing hydrogen can be reduced. In the second part, the speakers focus more about the transportation and storage of hydrogen. Usually, hydrogen is transported and stored in their liquid or gas forms by using cryogenic or pressurized vessels. But this method is less efficient and unsafe. So as an alternative, solid state materials are being developed and this project focuses on ammonia borane as a promising material. The next webinar I joined is still related to the green production of hydrogen, but this time, the project focuses on the development of the semiconductor used in the photoelectrocatalysis process. The project team focused on improving the conversion efficiency of bismuth vanadate, or BIVO4. This technology has immense potential in various applications, such as laptops, smartphones, or even fuel cells that are used in electric vehicles. I find the topic of hydrogen energy particularly interesting because it really has a great implementation potential in Hong Kong. However, there are certain issues that need to be solved in terms of technology and policy before hydrogen can be used in a large scale in Hong Kong. The last webinar that I would like to touch upon discusses how the digital world plays a role in decarbonization. A representative from Schneider Electric explained how digitization can help with decarbonization in buildings. IoT-based sensors regularly collect data, which are analyzed to identify opportunities. Expert analysts in the company then diagnose those difficult problems and propose recommendations. Actions are then executed and evaluated for their ROI, and the cycle repeats. So this system is made up of the digital, software, and hardware components, and all of them are interconnected with each other to perform their separate functions. This IoT and cloud-based system plays an important role in sustainability analytics. It helps with comparing sustainability performance across multiple sites, managing data through one central platform, and tracking and reporting enterprise sustainability data, for example. Thank you, HEIE, for providing such amazing opportunities that contributed to my knowledge and personal development. Climate change and sustainability are things that I really care about, and these webinars have really opened my eyes to how engineering can really help make a positive contribution in the adaptation and mitigation of climate change. On the 11th of June 2022, I was honored to attend the HKIE Prize Presentation Ceremony to be presented with a scholarship. My deepest gratitude goes to HKIE for granting me the scholarship and for providing its members with opportunities to learn from its variety of upskilling webinars and informational events. Attending these events has been a really fruitful experience for me as I broaden my horizons in the engineering field and also develop my professional skills. I will keep my can-do spirit and will to always learn in anything that I do in the future. Thank you.